Bonjour, what's up everybody? Right now I'm in beautiful Geneva, Switzerland. Right behind me the lake of Geneva and the famous fountain which is 144 meters tall. As I live in Zurich, which is pretty near, it's only a two and a half hours train ride. I decided to make a day trip and do another cost of living in video for you. As an example, I will show the usual low budget lifestyle. Now remember, you may be the type of person that goes out every night and spends a lot of money on food and drinks. But everyone is different and spends money in a different way. I will now show you the example of George. But who is George? This is George, he is a simple and happy man with a simple life. This is everything he needs to pay for in a month. 50 liters of water, 5 liters of milk, 2 kilograms of rice, 2 kilograms of bread, 10 kilograms of seasonal veggies, 15 kilograms of seasonal fruits, 8 kilograms of meat, 12 eggs, public transportation, 4 times a 10 minute cab ride, 20 coffees at bar, 10 beers, 2 bottles of mid-range wine, two movie theater tickets, health insurance, haircut, a gym membership, the rent for a one bedroom or studio apartment, mobile phone and internet subscription, toiletries and one pair of t-shirt and pants. George works remotely on his computer. The currency in Geneva is the Swiss franc and as the exchange rate is actually one to one with the US dollar, prices are already converted to US dollars. When it comes to grocery store, Coop is definitely my favorite here in Switzerland and one tip I can give you is if you want to save some money you can go uh, at after 8 p.m. and you'll find uh, some products at discounted 50% and there in my opinion you can save a lot of money and you can use them, eat them the same night. So let's go and do George's groceries. 50 liters of water cost $10. Before you destroy me in the comment section, let me just add that tap water in Geneva is perfectly safe to drink. 5 liters of milk cost $7. 2 kilograms of rice are $6. For 2 kilograms of bread, George will pay $7. 10 kilograms of mixed seasonal veggies cost $50. 15 kilograms of mixed seasonal fruits will cost $60. For 8 kilograms of mixed meat, George will pay $200. Yes, meat is very expensive in Switzerland. 12 eggs cost $4. 10 beers and 2 bottles of mid-range wine will cost $40. And for some toiletries products, George will spend around $30 for a total of $414. So the company that runs the public transportation in Geneva is the TPG, which stands for Transport Public Genevoise. And for the monthly pass, it's going to be 70 Swiss francs, which is the same in US dollars. So George will need $70 a month to travel around Geneva. With this monthly subscription, you'll be able to use buses, trams and the train. In my opinion, Geneva's public transportation is very efficient and reliable. For a 10-minute Uber ride, you can expect to pay around $20. For four times a month, that's $80. A regular coffee at the bar will cost you around $4. For 20 coffees a month, that's $80. A movie theater ticket is $16, for two movies a month that's $32. In Switzerland health insurance is very expensive and it's mandatory. The cost can vary according to provider and coverage. A plan with basic coverage will be about $300. A haircut close to the city center was about $55. 
So this is where I go to the gym. It's called Active Fitness and they have gyms throughout the all of Switzerland and I'm gonna show you how it looks inside and you see the price right here. So let's go and check it out. So George will pay about $60 a month to go to this gym. About the apartment, as Geneva is very close to the French border, you could save a ton of money living in France and commute every day to the city. But we will choose an apartment in the city on purpose to see Geneva's prices. Geneva isn't really a big city, so you cannot go too wrong when choosing where to live. After some research, I'd say that you need to spend at least $1,400 for a decent apartment near the center. I found this studio apartment of 30 square meters equivalent to 320 square feet for $1,450 a month and you still have to add utilities cost. For the phone contract I'd recommend Sunrise. With this contract you'll have unlimited calls, internet and messages for $65 a month. I use my phone as a hotspot at home so I don't have to pay extra just to have Wi-Fi all the time and it works perfectly. I can even watch 4K videos on my laptop. For a pair of pants and a t-shirt at H&M, George will need $45. Considering all the previous expenses, George will need about $2650 a month to live in Geneva on this low budget lifestyle. I interviewed this English expat who's been living in Geneva for the last five years and he had some interesting things to say. The Trans public yeah. transport is, uh, is very good. Yeah. You, have the, you have the kind of trams and the buses. Um, anywhere you need to get to really with public transport is good. You can of course go by car, but uh, I think by car it's more complicated here in the city center. Yeah. But obviously if you want to explore the rest of uh, Switzerland and nearby France, you need a car. I did some research and I saw you have the monthly pass with the TPG, mm -hmm. uh, which is 70 francs. Uh, is that something you can recommend where you can use tram, buses? Yeah, I would highly recommend this. that um, as a means to, to, to getting around. You know, Switzerland and uh, certainly Geneva is a very expensive uh, place probably one of the most expensive cities in the world yeah so um, you know you have to uh, try and economize where you can next exactly. question would be how much do you think you would need to earn in a month to live comfortably here alone <clears throat> it's a good question I mean alone uh, obviously more complicated because if you're in a house share then it's easier um, yeah. financially particularly I guess it depends what age group you're in right I mean if you're a student uh, university student 18 to 22 I think you're probably going to be in uh, shared accommodation um, yeah. unless you can afford it and uh, if you're a young professional probably a same scenario um, I think there comes a kind of critical point in time where you need to be needs to be over 70,000 Swiss francs 80,000 to, to live comfortably year, yeah. I think I mean to live in a small apartment I don't know maybe 60 square meters 50 60 square meters um, the rents are very expensive, so I mean, really, uh, you need to kind of move up the career ladder uh, right, quickly, yeah. or you know, have your own business that's very successful. Yeah, I know the average uh, salary in Zurich is about eight thousand dollars. Yeah, like it. look, it's expensive, right? I mean, uh, I think you have to uh, seventy, eighty thousand uh, dollars uh, Swiss francs a year, you would say. So it's 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 a lot, at least. When yeah. you say live on your own, I mean, I'd say at least. Uh, and as we, ideally more. Okay. As we are talking about accommodations, um, do you have any suggestions where to live in Geneva? Um, yeah, I mean, I would say this side is the most expensive side. Uh, other side of the lake, uh, less expensive, but still quite expensive. Um, I think it depends, right? I mean, it depends by, in Switzerland, it's by Canton. Uh, in Geneva, I would say that the best uh, Best scenario is to probably check out France nearby. France, um, yeah. We're very close to the border, so you have. Uh, That's what a lot of people do here. They live at the in France and they nearby, in. yeah, and they commute to the city. Exactly. And then, yeah, you earn basically the Swiss salary, 
And you have the cost of living in France. In France, so places like uh, Ferney, Voltaire, uh, Ferney which is near the near the border. Um, yeah, my, my recommendation really would be France and commute. Uh, That's good advice. Or at least I would say like not really in the center because as the public transportation is so good, you can commute easily. The other option so. I would say actually outside of the center, which is a little bit further afield, but close links by train is uh, Neon. 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 Okay. As they say, Neon is, uh, is close by. It's a nice town. Um, big student town as well. Lots of... Uh, Lots of students in Neon, uh, lots of young professionals as well, and near to Neon as well. Um, people that work in Geneva commute in from, uh, from places like Neon, if you're talking about Switzerland. And obviously, uh, as we've mentioned previously, France as well. That's good, yeah. And uh, do you have any tips when living here on how to save money or something like that? Uh, yeah, don't go out. <laughs> don't go out. Yeah, cook at home and stuff, the usual stuff, I guess. Yeah, of course. But I mean, uh, Look, I think this this place is right. I mean, uh, there's there's choices here. Um, you have a lot of international uh, cuisine because you have a, a large um, expat community from from all over the world. Exactly. Um, yeah. I've noticed more and more over the years here. Uh, well, since I've been, let's say, coming here in the last 10, 15 years, there's more Vietnamese uh, places, Chinese places uh, to eat out in, which are inexpensive. I mean, they're they're, they're reasonable. Yeah. Um, I guess if you go out to eat in in a restaurant, you would you you will spend at least thirty francs, yeah, forty oh, minimum, yeah, minimum. Yeah, minimum. Yeah, but there's francs. a difference between that and heading to Beau Rivage or uh, Four Seasons or the Bauer or Lac, uh, yeah. which are <laughs> well-known five-star hotels. Um, look, it's it's uh, it's expensive. I'll give you a comparison because I've lived I've lived in London, I've lived in Spain as well. Yeah, you know here. If you want to have, if there's three of you for a meal and you want to have a pizza, say, in a pizzeria. Uh, you, you said you have been living here for how many years? Yeah, on and off uh, for the last five years. The um, last five years, you know, yeah. Because of work and what have you, I've been, I've been visiting uh, a lot. Um, yeah. But when I was saying the pizzeria example, like if you go to a pizzeria in, uh, in Spain or in France, maybe you're going to spend, like three people, maybe you're going to spend like, I don't know, 10, 12 euros a pizza, so... 36 40 euros for three maybe 50 euros for three yeah. with, with drinks maybe 60 over here it easily goes over 100 yeah so it's like 120 140 um, so on average it's it's double the price really um, yeah. of most other countries in uh, in Europe or one and a half times or double the price on average yeah. well here say. there are also a lot of tourists that I didn't expect actually but in Geneva, yes, because I think it's a gateway to uh, gateway to the Alps. If you're a keen skier, then obviously you've got all the mountains here. Uh, you can see beautiful mountains right behind yeah. you, full of, covered in snow. Uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of options, and Geneva is a gateway to, to Europe. And Geneva is, you know, if you you take out a map of, of Europe, Geneva is close to all the big cities uh, in Europe. And then I have the last question, which is, where do you do your groceries? Which grocery shopping? I I, I use Coop. I I really Co like Coop. Coop's good. Migros is good as well. Migros. Um, but if you really want to get a good bargain, again, you've got to go to France. France, yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very nice much. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you for your time. Thank you very much for watching. If this video was useful, leave a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot. Subscribe for more content like this. And if you want to support me and get access to extra videos every week, you can do that on Patreon. See you next time in another part of the world.